so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. If f of 2 equals negative 3, write an ordered pair that must be on the graph of y equals f of the quantity x plus 4 plus 2. So if we're given f of 2 equals negative 3, that means when the input is 2, the output is negative 3, or when x equals 2, y equals negative 3. Which means this point here with coordinates 2, negative 3, would be on the basic function f of x. So now based upon this function notation, we should be able to recognize the translations and then translate this given point. So for review, if we begin with the basic function f of x and both c and d are positive, y equals f of x plus d would shift f of x up d units because we're adding d to the function values or y values of the basic function f and therefore y equals f of x minus d would shift f of x down d units. But if we have y equals f of the quantity x plus c, notice how this plus c would affect the inputs into function f, and because we're adding c, we actually have to use smaller values of x to get the same inputs as the basic function f of x. So because we'd have to use smaller values of x, f of the quantity x plus c would actually shift f of x left c units. And if we had y equals f of the quantity x minus c, notice here we're subtracting c from x, therefore we need larger values of x to have the same inputs as the basic function f of x. So by subtracting c here, the graph of f of x is actually shifted right c units. So by recognizing this notation, if we begin with f of the quantity x plus four, this plus four here means we'd have to use smaller values of x to get the same inputs as the basic function f of x. So by adding four here, it would actually shift the point left four units. Notice when x is negative two here, the input would be negative two plus four positive two, the same input as the basic function f of x. And then this plus two on the end, we would be adding two to these function values or y values, which would actually shift the graph up two units. So we went left four and up two, giving us the point that must be on y equals f of the quantity x plus four plus two. Notice how the coordinates are negative two comma negative one. Let's also look at this another way though. If we know f of two, equals negative three, and we have this new function y equals f of the quantity x plus four plus two. If we wanted the input of this function here to be positive two, because we know when the input is positive two, the output is negative three, notice how x would have to be negative two to have an input of positive two. Again, if x equals negative two, we would have y equals f of the quantity negative two plus four, and then plus two. If we simplify again, notice how we have f of, this would be positive two plus two. So by adding four here, we had to use an x value or an input that was four less than positive two, which shifted the point left four units. And we know f of two equals negative three, so this leaves us with y equals negative three plus two. So notice how this plus two adds two to the y coordinate of the original point, shifting the point up two units. And negative three plus two is negative one. So if x is negative two, then y must be negative one. So whichever way we look at it, the point negative two comma negative one must be on the function y equals f of the quantity x plus four plus two.